It's Mom and Pop Video Shop. Welcome back to Mom and Pop Video Shop. I'm Tyson. I am Joel. And uh, this is another episode of Weekly Retro Movie Recommendations. Sure. And why are you and I talking like bad Christopher Walken impersonators? I did it specifically because <laughs> I can never, ever, ever get the title of what we're doing. Right? I just so think I we weekly, to... when in doubt, go with Weekly Retro Movie Review or Retro Movie Review. I'm fine with either of those. Oh, gee, thanks. I'm Tyson. This is Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Retro Movie Review. Or how about just Movie Review? Why do you even bother? At any rate, on yes, this episode, yes, yes. Uh, I'm picked from the. Sh I've already picked from the shelf. Mm -hmm. um, 1992's Universal Soldier. Yes, indeedy. Starring John Claude Van Damme. Yep. Dolph Lundgren. Yep. Ali Walker. Sure. Yes. Yes. Who yes. you will appreciate? Uh, Sons later. of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. Yep. Exactly. And uh, you know what? She aged pretty well. Uh, yes, I do. But surprisingly it, similar to yeah. what she did in yeah. 1992's Universal Soldiers, directed by Roland Emmerich. What else? That's why. Oh, dude, Independence Day. Uh, was it the? I always want to say uh, 2012. The, oh, the, end the, of the world. day after tomorrow. The right? End was of the it? world. Yeah, into the world movies. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a king of those. Yeah. Exactly. Um, although he did do, I don't know if I have on the shelf out right now. I had it somewhere. This is why I keep Joel around. That's the only reason. Crap. There's a movie called um, Making Contact from 1986-ish, 87, 88, so, it's somewhere in that ballpark. Uh -huh. I feel like it's, do I have it? I know I have it somewhere. Crap, I don't remember what's that. Anyway, Making Contact, you've ever seen it? There's a creepy ass ventriloquist doll in it, and I believe Roland Emmerich made that movie right on. Uh, in, the, in the mid 80s. So anyway, I at any rate, 1992's Universal Soldier, uh, dude, is like, a freaking wet dream for action. Oh my God. Early 90s action. Yes, if you are in the mood for like testosterone fueled machismo, this is it. You cannot go wrong. So I will read from the back of the VHS box and then I'm sure Joel and I will wax nostalgic about sure. this particular movie. So Universal Soldier, two of the biggest action stars are together for the first time and it won't be the last time, but they're together for the first time in one explosive adventure. John claude Van Damme is Luke Devereaux and Dolph Lundgren is Sergeant Andrew Scott. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> two soldiers who kill each other in Vietnam and are then brought back to life 25 years later for a secret government program. Known as Unisols, they're genetically enhanced, unstoppable killing machines with no memory, no feelings, and no free will. But on an anti-terrorist mission, Devereaux's memory starts to return and he escapes from the program. A superhuman chase across the country begins with Sergeant Scott in unrelenting pursuit of the man who killed him. Devereaux heads for his home and a reunion with his unbelieving parents. There, Sergeant Scott corners him for the ultimate clash of the Titans. Can we just say, plot-wise, Universal Soldiers is freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, as a, as a story premise, um, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, I will tell you, and I kind of alluded to this uh, to Tyson before we started recording, I have not seen this movie in decades. And sometimes we try to like surprise each other and not tell each other what we're gonna do, although I had him tell me in advance, but when I say in advance, I mean like yesterday. So I didn't have time. And when I realized he was doing this one, I was straight up like, oh, cause I would have loved to rewatch this movie. I remember, I saw in the theater at least once, maybe twice, maybe even three times looking back at it. Cause that was that era of like Seagal and Van Damme when like those yeah. movies had come out, you'd want to see them like a couple times at least. You think that's cool? Because it was 92? 92. So I probably haven't seen it since the 90s for sure. Oh no, I've seen it multiple times yeah. since then. Yeah. But um, I didn't see it that I remember anyway in the theater, but this was like at least an every few months mm -hmm. type rental for me. Mm -hmm. uh, especially uh, as I got a little bit older, older and had to babysit like my sister, my cousin and stuff, you know, they would always send me to the video store and like any good babysitter when you're watching. You pick wildly inappropriately mo inappropriate movie for children. Yes. Yeah. So it was like this and we, we've already covered Split Second on yeah, the show, yeah. but Universal Soldiers and Split Second was like a Friday night double feature and for me. that was 92 as well, right? Uh, I believe it was. Yeah. 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 It a might good, have a good been, year for you. Might have been. It, you know what's crazy? Here's the thing. I'm wondering if the copy of Universal Soldiers that I rented from my local mom and pop video shop, that the preview on that, mm -hmm. one of the oh, previews might have second. been split second. That totally, that, that tracks, my, my that day. tracks. Uh, yep. But here's the other interesting thing about that particular copy I used to rent, and this is this is weird. I would be interested to know if any of the viewers experienced this as well on the copies that they may have rented in the early 90s. There was a contest 
that popped up before the movie played mm. and it was like hey if you can name six of the weapons used by the unisols in universal soldier uh write in you'll a win, postcard win. to this yeah. this uh address and you'll win this sweepstakes mm-hmm. whatever and dude i used to like i mean i had like my notes in this <laughs> figure all that so uh i don't know it was interesting yeah. I, I you don't see that anymore no. with, with with rentals i know terminator had some stuff like well that. certainly not with know. streaming exactly what are they gonna do he is so cynical there's several fights throughout this uh that like one of the um openings i want to say is like might have been hoover dam mm, yeah situation oh, man. Like yeah yeah, yeah. In. yes and there's this badass this semi-truck that they all roll around that's like yes oh, see i'm not I, you're that you're saying this stuff it's coming back uh, yeah and uh one of my favorite scenes see we're spoiling the hell out of this but whatever it's universal <laughs> soldier so feel free to skip to the next video if you haven't seen universal soldiers and you don't want to be spoiled on this particular yeah, well, masterpiece we're but my favorite scene in the whole movie is it's like the first stop after he escapes mm-hmm. with Allie Walker. And you remember they're in the diner? Mm-hmm. And she's like, hey, I gotta go out and make a phone call, just order whatever you want. And he's kind of looking around because, he, you know, he doesn't know how society works. So he basically orders like 50 blue plate specials and just keeps eating, kept, keeps eating. And the waitress gets pissed and asks him how he's gonna pay. And he doesn't know how. I'm not a smart man. It's a big bar fight then that ensues because... I don't really remember that scene, but what's hilarious as you laid that out is the realization like as if he, he di- died in the 60s, he's at a diner in the 90s, as if it's such a different world. It's not like they handed him a smartphone and but said, think, order off Amazon, dude. What sort of dark magic is this? I think all these guys have <laughs> such memory wipes. I think it was just- Oh, is that what it was? Oh, I got you. Yeah, okay, I, I don't remember that, so you say yeah, so. Yeah, like he doesn't-, doesn't So I was like, diner? What should I yeah. do at diner? He's got his- uh, Before we say what our tape, re- uh, I did notice. Oh, this is the other- Making contact. If you- oh. Oh. Clumsy, clumsy hippos. Saved it! This is the other Roland Emmerich? This is movie? the other Roland Emmerich movie. I'm, I'm trying to get it up there. You guys can see it. Very and, cool. And uh, if you remember that ventriloquist, I always had a thing about ventriloquist dummies that freaked me out. I don't know that I've ever seen this. Yeah, either. directed by Roland Emmerich. Anyway, making contact, Roland Emmerich. Yep. Here's Roland. the last thing I'll say about Universal Soldier. Folks, if you've not seen this, uh, I can unequivocally say, other than like maybe Bloodsport, this is probably my favorite mm. Van Damme movie. Okay. Um, I mean, we all know what a villain Dolph Lundgren was in Rocky IV, mm-hmm. but doesn't have a lot of speaking lines. Has far yeah. more dialogue than yes. Universal Soldiers. Yeah. And I remember him being really good. As batshit psychopaths go, yeah. Dolph Lundgren is great. incredible. Yes, in totally this. great. So yeah. can't recommend this enough. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to say five tapes for me on Universal. I'm going to say four, but only because I haven't watched it in 30 years. I will tell you, my gut tells me I'm going to rewatch this movie. It's going to be a five tape. But I'm going to say four because, again, right. I'm purely from memory. I love the tagline the future has a bad attitude. It certainly does. Yeah. And in the meantime, remember at Mom and Pops, our love of Red Scorpion, also starring Dolph Lundgren. And also never stops. Mom and Pops. Video show.